Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. We're back with another video with a brand new release from Ubiquity. And this time it's something that a lot of people have been waiting for and what they showed off at previous Ubiquity World conferences. And this is only the beginning for their UPS lineup. You can see behind me that I have a tower UPS from Ubiquity, but they are also coming out with a 2U later on in this month. I don't have final pricing yet, but there will be an overlay on this screen for the tower and the 2 UPS. This is something that has been missing from the Ubiquity lineup, and I'm really excited to see where it goes. So let's go downstairs, we will get this opened up, and then we'll take a look at the UPS tower. And here we have the Unify UPS tower. Usually I don't do full unboxings, but this time we will. At the back of the box, we have this pull tab. Ubiquity always does a great job of this. So we're gonna pull it off and then I'm gonna open up the lid. So it looks like you have to push this down on its side and then push the handle within the box. And once we do that, it's gonna open up where the UPS is. And the UPS, I haven't seen this yet, but it is this nice white color, and we will take a closer look at it. Now, the only thing that comes within this box is the UPS tower itself. So the rest of the box, you could just dispose of or recycle. The UPS tower does have this plastic film protecting it, and on the top, we do have this pull tab, which I'll pull in a second. On the very front, we do have a QR code for the quick start guide, so let's take the plastic off. That was really easy to do, and this is certainly a nice UPS. So I'm gonna bring the camera closer, and we're gonna take a look at the outlets. At the bottom, we could see the Ubiquity logo, and then we also have a power icon, and it does say UPS. On both sides of the UPS, we also have these air ventings on the top and on the bottom. Now, as for ports, at the very top, we have port 11, which is gonna be for our network, and then you can see we have a reset button. Along the sides, we have two different power strips. So on the left-hand side, this is gonna be surge plus battery. And then on the right-hand side, this is just gonna be surge. So we have 10 power ports in total. On the bottom of the UPS, we have a surge network. So we could plug in a cable and it will be surge protected and we have an in and an out and then we have our power cable. We're now back upstairs after seeing what the UPS tower looks like. And what did I plug into the UPS tower? Well, I plugged that into my main power line and going into that is my PDU Pro and directly into the UPS tower, I also put my Pro Max as well as my NAS. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to head over to our site manager and we need to get the UPS tower adopted. As you can see right here on screen, it says that it needs to be adopted and it's been given an IP address. I physically have this cabled from the management port going up to my UDM Pro Max. This does not have Bluetooth management, so you need to directly plug it in. I'm gonna to click to adopt. The UPS tower is now within our Unify network application. It is uplinked at fast ethernet, so 10 or 100 megabits per second. Let's go ahead and click on it and see some of the settings. So at the very top, we could see that it says the UPS tower. We can change that name if we'd like, and we could tell what it's connected to. It's on my UDM Pro Max on port one. We can now see all of our ports. We have our uplink port, which is going at 100 megabits per second. And then we have those 10 power ports. And we also have that ethernet surge at the bottom. So the surge in and the surge out. The power ports unfortunately are unmanaged. So we're not able to remotely power cycle per port like we could do on the PDU Pro. Hopefully this is something that comes in the future, but for the price point, of this tower UPS, I think that's okay. Underneath our power ports, we could see our power utilization, which I'm at 432 out of 600 watts. So I'm at 72%. And you can see that the battery is currently charging and it's at 94%. For the runtime, if we're at 100% capacity for the power utilization, we're gonna get about two minutes. If we're at half of the power utilization, we'll get about seven minutes. This next section is really nice. This is the safe shutdown pairing. And it says the UPS will shut down devices safely after 10 seconds without power. To bring this device back online, use remote power off followed by remote power on in the UPS settings. I did plug in my UMVR to this as well, and I have a UNAS Pro. So I'm gonna click to pair. To pair these devices, we need to put in the email address and the password of the owner for this unit. So I'm gonna do that and then we'll press pair. And there we go, it was almost instant and I have my UNAS Pro, it's paired. I'm gonna do the same for my UMVR. And these are now both paired and if we wanna unpair them, we could just hover over them and we could click on unpair. Below that, we have our model of the UPS 
We also see where it's connected, the IP, Mac, and the version of the firmware, the network, uptime, the power, and the current, and also the voltage. In the insights, it's gonna show us the history of the UPS tower, and I did update the firmware, and then we have our settings for it. So we could name it whatever we want and then give it a static IP or leave it at DHCP. We also have this NUT server, so shares UPS status with other devices. Use the host ID, host name, and port when configuring third-party devices for safe shutdown. And then going down below that, we have our manage. So we have set replacement device, load configuration, we have manual firmware update, locate, restart, and then we have the remote power off. The remote power off, it powers off the UPS tower remotely, shutting down all connected devices. Proceed with caution to avoid unexpected shutdowns. We're not gonna press that button because I have my UDM Pro Max in there and all my network would go down. I went downstairs and I unplugged the UPS tower from its power source to see how long that it would last with about 70% power load on it. And it did just last over two minutes. You could see also that the battery light or the LED indicators are going down as the battery drains. And that's gonna be my video on the UPS tower and I really do like the look of it. I could see this being at a lot of clients' desktops to power them up and to keep them up and running during an event that the power goes out so that they could save their work. I do hope in the future that they do come out with some new UPSs that allow us to manage the power ports on it. Let me know what you think of the new Ubiquiti Unify UPS tower in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.